Hi, welcome to another video. Today is an auspicious day. What am I talking about? Today we're filming a book unhaul. Um, so this is a big combo of things. Like I really wanted in apparently, so we've got that happening. Um, hopefully she just behaves herself. Um we have a Hollywood books here. There's also an unhaul that I filmed like over a year ago that I just haven't edited or uploaded. So there's that that's going to be clipped in here as well. Um, and I have a different haircut. I, I think I was fresh off a haircut, so I was also wearing it down, which I like almost never do. Um, so there is that that you will see here today. Um, you'll also see all of these things. Um, I'll give you, I'll go pretty quick through it. I might tell you like why I'm unhauling it in a brief summary. Like I DNF'd it or so I don't really keep books I DNF or I read it but I didn't love it or I read it but I didn't like it or I lost interest in it or I don't want to support the book or the author. You feel what I mean? Sometimes I do have what I call my, my shame shelves which are like things that I don't want to support but I had a personal enjoyment towards the particular book. Um, which I just then keep them in the back of my shelf where they're not visible. I don't talk about them on this channel, uh, and I don't promote them at all. So some things you might expect to see on here might be on the shame shelf, but that's just my personal way of dealing with some things. And that may change in the future and I may totally unhaul my shame shelf, but at the moment that's where we're at, but let's get started. So first off, you're going to see me from a year ago. <laughs> Before the pandemic hit, like it's over a year ago, even a bit, uh, before the pandemic hit, we just moved into this house and I did a massive unhaul. So you'll see that here. Technically, I mean, they're still all in bags here because before I got a chance to take them anywhere, the lockdown happened. Uh, but I'm going to be motivated to clear them all out after bagging up this stack. But here's those books now. So we have a lot of books by Cinder Williams Chimer. I made the mistake a while ago. At the time, I was still like buying full series when I hadn't read any. Um, and this was something that fell into that. I thought I would love these. I was so obsessed with the idea of them that I bought like every book she'd written. Um, and I read The Warrior and I gave it like a three stars. I didn't really enjoy it. I thought it was kind of slow. Uh, and then I've been like not wanting to pick up any of the others. And I read that like over a year ago. So we also... So this is also probably going to be a lot of dropping noises, but I'll try and cut them out. We're also getting rid of The Exiled Queen. These are probably all out of order. The Demon King. The Crimson Crown. The Grey Wolf. And there are more, but that's all I've got right now in my hands. I'm also getting rid of Snow, a Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush. I also think the second one is somewhere in this stack. Um, again, I just have kind of lost interest and I don't think I'm ever going to get round to it. The Ministry of Utmost Happiness by Arundhati Roy. The Name of the Star and The Madness Underneath. Uh, yeah, The Madness Underneath by Maureen Johnson. Passenger and also Wayfarer by Alexandra Bracken. Razorhurst by Justine LaBelestia. Here's a, a, some of our other Cinder Williams Chimer. We have The Enchanter Air, The Dragon Air, The Wizard Air. I'm getting rid of all my John Marsden books. I read these a long time ago, but uh, last year I think he came out and said something awful about bullying, uh, about how like bullies deserve, uh, bully, bullied people deserve to be bullied. And uh, mm -mm, no thanks. Also they were taking up space on my shelf and I was never gonna reread them. So we have The Other Side of the Dawn, but also the whole rest of this initial, um, the original Tomorrow on the War Began series. So there's more coming up. I'm getting rid of Eleanor and Park also because it's offensive and I didn't know that when I read it because I was like 19 and had no idea what was going on um, and just wasn't alert when reading this. Um, I have no intention of rereading this. I actually have gotten rid of a lot of Rainbow Rowell. I think the only one I'm keeping is Fangirl because I have a strong attachment to Fangirl but we're getting rid of pretty much everything else Rainbow Rowell such as Attachments. Uh, Every Day by David Levithan. I've read this, it was a long time ago. I don't want to reread it. Uh, I didn't hate it, I actually quite enjoyed it. But I have no intention of continuing on with the series and I'm not going to reread it. 
more John Marsden, we have The Dead of the Night, Darkness Be My Friend, and The Night is for Hunting. You can tell I sweated all over these. <laughs> this series by Julie Kagua, I still am vaguely interested in, but I just don't think I care enough to keep them. I don't think I'm going to get around to reading them because other things will just keep coming in. I still think they would be good though, but that's Talon, Rogue, and Soldier by Julie Kagawa. This is like a dragon series. Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin. I just don't think I'm ever going to get around to this. Cloud Atlas and Black Swan Green. Ugh, I'm itchy. And Black Swan Green by David Mitchell. I think there's another David Mitchell on this stack as well. I just don't think I'm ever going to get around to them. I think I'll just rewatch Cloud Atlas. We do have on this stack the entire, but I only have the first two on this particular stack of Aragon series. Yeah, I had the movie tie in of the first one. I only read the first one and a half, but I honestly, I don't think I'm ever getting around to reading them. So we have Aragon, Eldest. Here's another Cinder Williams Trimer. Kitten, uh, The Sorcerer Heir, a book I DNF'd, The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. I'm sad about it, but I don't want to keep it on my shelf because I DNF'd it, so it's going. Making a pile on the floor, and then that can be my thumbnail. <laughs> of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. This is, um, I recently read this and I gave it three stars. I'm not planning on continuing. Spectacle by Jody Lynn Truck. Very similar. No intention of continuing. The Deathless Girls by Kieran Millwood, Millwood, Millwood Hargrave. This is beautiful, but I didn't enjoy it that much. We don't have space on our shelves. Um, I have two books in this series, I think, that I'm just never going to get to. Um, and that is uh, The Lumetier Chronicles by Melina Marchetta, and this is Four of the Exiles. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. The entire trilogy? Or at least the first three books of Grail Quest. So there's the Camelot spell, Morgane's Revenge, and The Shadow Companion by Laura Ann Gilman. I've had those since I was a kid. I think I've maybe read them all, but I honestly can't remember. Um, and I'm not going to reread them anymore. I was going to at one point, but I'm not anymore. Lay and Lion by Rainbow Rowell. Almost Midnight by Rainbow Rowell. The Graces by Laura Eve. Um, I've read this. It was alright. I listened to the audiobook. I'm never going to reread it. And I'm not going to continue with the series. Some more John Marsden. We have Tomorrow When the War Began, The Third Day of the Frost, and Burning for Revenge. The Thief by Megan Wallen Turner. Didn't love this as much as other people seem to have toyed with the idea of continuing the series, but I just don't think I'm going to. Rain the Earth by A.C. Gorgon. I got this on sale and I now know I should never get anything on sale unless I was already intending to buy it, whether it was on sale or not. Um, cause they're never a high enough priority for me. They just sit on my TBR forever until I give up on them. Why is my washing machine refusing to rinse? I have on this list the whole of the Mer Wolves of Mercy Fall series. I've read the first one before. I don't think I've read the second one. Um, I was going to reread the first one and continue the series, but I don't think I'm ever going to get around to it. I do like Maggie Stiefvater's works, what I've read, like Raven Cycle, All the Crooked Saints, the new ones. Um, but I just, I don't think I'm ever going to get around to reading these. So we have Sinner, Forever. There are more somewhere in this stack. But uh, we also have I Hate Everyone But You by Gabby Dunn and Alison Raskin. I enjoyed this. I just don't think it really suits my shelves. It's not my normal vibe. I'm never going to reread it. Winter Song by S.J. Jones. This is another one I got on sale, regretfully. Ice Like Fire by Sarah Rush. Lady Helen and the Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. Black Leopard Red Wolf by uh, Marlon James. DNF'd this. The Book of Joby by Mark J. Ferrari. I think this would be really good, but I'm not prioritising it. I'm never going to get around to reading it. Bitter Greens by Kate Forsyth. Here's Finnegan of the Rock by Melanie Marchetta. The other parts of the Aragon series, uh, Brisinger and Inheritance. And The Bone Clocks by David Mitchell. More Maggie Steve Vada. We have uh, Shiva and Linga and Lament and Ballad. I think Ballad goes first. <laughs> first Life by Gina Showalter. What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. Read this, enjoyed it, but I'm never going to reread it. Don't want to keep it on my shelf. Life in Outer Space by Melissa Kyle. Illusions of Fate by Kirsten White. 
and finally dry by Neil Schusterman and Jared Schusterman. Wasn't that a lovely shot? I used to film in front of the bookshelves. Like, wasn't that a lovely pre-COVID experience? <laughs> now I'm never home alone, so I don't film in front of the bookshelves, but that's fine. Um, let's go on this stack. Um, there was also a bunch of stuff I unhauled once at my parents' house, but I didn't film it. Um, it was all stuff that, like, I've basically not seen in a long time. Um, so for example, books one and two in this series, this is Gathering Darkness in the Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. I'm unhauling this because I've lost interest in the series overall as it progressed. I read book one and two and enjoyed them. Um, but, I the series only goes downhill from this book and I decided not to invest my time in it. Um, according to everyone. And so I'm unhauling this. I've already unhauled one or two from my parents' house. Wicked Saints and Ruthless Gods by Emily A. Duncan. Obviously with everything that's going on in there, if you've been paying any attention, you know what's up with that. I'm unhauling them. They're not going on my shame shelf. They were not that good. <laughs> the Seven or Eight Deaths of Stella Fortuna by Juliet Grahams. I've just lost interest in this. Similar to the Emily A. <laughs> Duncan stuff, I'm also getting rid of a bunch of um, my J. Kristoff stuff. Um, that I didn't like that much anyway. Uh, so okay, they were fine, but I didn't love them. So we have the Lifelike series. I haven't read True Life. I was going to read it this month and then to it's totally put me off. So we're just unhauling all three. Sorry, the animals are really loving running around. Dark Tide by Alicia Jasinska. I think I DNF'd this. We are all completely beside ourselves by Karen Joy Fowler. Lost interest in this. The Unadoptables by Hannah Took. I heard some pretty atrocious things about this after I bought it. Haven't read it, but like, I don't want to support it. Traders Kiss by Erin Beattie. Didn't love this. House of Dragons and um, the Dictionary of Lost Words. This is by Pip Williams. This is by Jessica Clewis. I attempted both of these, but they were on my like pretty easy to DNF list and I DNF to both of them. We have another Jessica Clawis in here somewhere but I don't know exactly where it is so we'll get to it when we get to it. Why am I keeping coming out of focus? Please focus on my face. Thank you. Um, on the J. Kristoff sphere we also have Aurora Rising and Aurora Burning. Didn't love those. The Vanishing Deep by Astrid Schultz. Didn't like this. I did read it all though. Don't know why. Um, the Last Name Sarah by Kristen Cicerelli. Again I just didn't like this very much. It was fine. Didn't love it. Sword of Fire by Catherine Kerr. It's a new start to like a trilogy, but part of a larger series. And I just didn't enjoy it. I DNF'd it. High Fire by Ian Colfer. I also DNF'd. The Disasters by MK England. I enjoyed this, but I didn't love it. The Candle on the Flame by Nafisa Azad. I enjoyed this, but no, I DNF'd this. I think other people will really love it. The writing style wasn't for me. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I'm not interested in this series. I really didn't. Enjoy it. I don't want to support Rainbow Rowell. Um, there's a few things on my shame shelf. <laughs> um, Threads of Magic by Alison Crogan. I uh, DNF'd this. Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. I've lost interest in. Uh, Romanov by Nadine Brandes. I didn't love. Um, Hunted, I think, was the same. I read this and I didn't love it. Woven in Moonlight by Isabel Ibanez. I enjoyed this one. I read it, but I learned a lot about it later that made me really second guess a lot of what I enjoyed. Uh, and I don't really want to support the author. Here's the other Jessica Clovis, A Shadow Bright and Burning. I think I could really like this book, but Jessica Clovis just keeps being weird online and I'm not interested. Uh, Serpent and Dove and Blood and Honey by Shelby Maharin. I enjoyed Serpent and Dove in a weird way um but blood and honey i dnf'd so i'm not gonna read book three and i'm gonna unhaul both of them strange exit by parker pv house i enjoyed but didn't love the disturbing girls disturbed girls dictionary i dnf'd this i really struggled with it for some reason i think it was the right style um emergency contact by mary hk troy i dnf'd this one as well other people love that though so um the sisters grim by Meta van prague i hated this <laughs> i did read all of it though don't know why Rules for Perfect Murders, or Eight Perfect Murders, I think it was called in the US. I read all this, I hated it. Um, Iron Gold by Pierce Brown. Um, this is the first and the second trilogy. I've read the entire first trilogy. I have no interest in continuing. So that's everything from this stack. I do slowly just collect a little stack all the time. Um, um, so those are all the books I'm unhauling today. Thank you so much for watching. I don't have money to mail these out to everyone. Um... If you are one of my few slow friends who I have invited to watch this video, please let me know if you want it to be. <laughs> um, 
Uh, and otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.